Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Lolita Look at Daily Vlog. Yeah, so uh, Wednesday, November the 8th, and uh, it's like 47 degrees here in Charlotte. I think just a couple days ago I was excited because it was like 77. Well, it's definitely turned cold on us. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, about 10.30. I'm just getting home from the office, gonna set up to work from, uh, from the house for the afternoon, but uh, Gosh, I think I just want to go inside now and make some soup or something. But, anyways, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to get to the cruise topic, you can just go to this time right here. But uh, other than that, uh, track along and uh, we'll see what we get into today. Good morning, everybody. Guess what I'm doing? I'm waiting for my car to heat up because it's a little chilly this morning. All right. Well, I hope we have a good day. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, yeah. So done with work. Jenny just got home. It's only 4.36 and it's so dark already. Um, well, it still looks fairly light, but uh, I don't know about this daylight savings time. I, I don't know where we're saving the daylight, but uh, so Jenny needs oil change. So I'm gonna get the oil changed on her vehicle and uh, grab some dinner. I think it might be pizza tonight. So uh, yeah, we'll catch up. What's up everybody? So just got home, uh, Tony, so good to me he brought my car to get the oil changed and he's picking up blue cheese dressing i'm gonna get a dinner ready and then i gotta watch that's right i watched lolita loco also got the oil changed it was uh super quick like 15 minutes or less so uh, i didn't want to order the pizza because i didn't know how long it was going to take but now i'm going to uh now i'm going to order some pizza hey what's up everybody can you see me? Yeah, I just wanted to illustrate. So now it's uh, 5.30, just an hour later, and uh, it's pretty much dark. I'm illuminated by street lights, but uh, yeah, got the uh, oil change, had to make an emergency stop for creamer, and uh, you know that's essential around my house. And then I got, uh, I scrapped the pizza, just got chicken wings, and we're gonna have chicken wings and a salad. So uh, try to be a little healthy on our chicken wing night, but uh, yeah, let me get this stuff inside. Jenny. What are you? Man, that crack on your windshield is growing. I know. We're gonna have to get that re <laughs> replaced this weekend. I know, I hate it. I know, man. But uh, more importantly, where's my dinner? Your dinner is right here. Thanks for picking it up. Oh, cool, what do we got? We're just having some chicken wings. Now these aren't, uh, these are Pizza Hut chicken wings, and they're not bad. They're not our favorite, the Wing King, but uh, that's a little bit of a drive, so. Uh, Wing King, Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not in Charlotte. Where is it? Fort Mill? Fort Mill. But I, I was telling the people we were going to have pizza and chicken wings, but uh, I made the call. I think we... I made a salad. Yeah, instead. salad's better. So, mm -hmm. you hungry? I am. Let's eat. Let's eat. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? 94 days until we cruise on the Carnival Liberty. Yay. Those days are just peeling off, Jenny. Yes, they are. We're not triple digits, we're only double, di Dub double digits. Double digits. Did you have a good uh, good Wednesday? Yeah, it was good. It was uh, cold and rainy, and but you know what? You make the best of every day that's given to you. The weather has taken a turn for the worse. The weather is frightful. I guess we can't complain, though, because it is, uh, what is it, November the 8th, and we've mm -hmm. had, uh, I would say, summer-like weather for much of the fall. Yeah, which is not kind of cool, right? Because I love fall. I like fall too, but I don't like being cold. So I've enjoyed the warmer weather, and but I, now it's cold and rainy. Yeah. I'd rather have cold than rain. Me too. Not both together. Right. But hey, I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, thought we would talk a little bit tonight about uh, what your approach is for excursions uh, on a cruise ship. We did a little poll last night in the uh, La Lita Loca cruising community and we just asked a simple question. When you are cruising and you uh, get to a port, do 
Do you normally do an excursion that is uh, sponsored by the cruise line? Do you do an excursion through third party or you know somebody local? Uh, do you just go out and do your own thing? Or do you stay on the ship? Mm -hmm. What do you think? How, how do you think the poll turned out? Um, excursion through the cruise. Excursion through the cruise. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, we had uh, 50 people respond. Uh, 25, 50% said do an excursion through the cruise line. Uh, 17 said explore the port on your own. Mm -hmm. uh, 8 said do a third party excursion. And 3 people said stay on the ship. Wow. So that's wild. I thought that um, a third party excursion would be, uh, would be higher up. But so number 1 was uh, do, a do an excursion through the cruise line. Number 2 do your own thing. Mm -hmm. Number 3 third party. And number 4 stay on the ship. Uh, for me, I was one that said uh, do a cruise line excursion. Right. Because that's all I've ever done. So we've been uh, two cruises. We uh, cruised uh, out of Mobile, ended up in Key West, Florida by accident, by happenstance. That was a nice accident. It was a cruise to nowhere that turned into a cruise to Key West. And so we really hadn't booked an excursion for Key West. But as we were uh, getting off the ship, uh, Carnival had uh, a station set up where they were offering a $19 per person uh, trolley tour of Key West. Mm -hmm. And so we did that and so essentially we just jumped on the trolley and by the time we got off it was uh, time to get back on the ship. And it was a good, a good way to see Key West. <clears throat> it was a tour, like you said, a tour guide and um, you know, we, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. It was the first time we'd ever left a cruise ship uh, on our first cruise. And uh, so we, we, the good or bad, we watched a bunch of Pier Runner videos before we went <laughs> on the cruise. And so we were all petrified of being a Pier Runner. So yeah. we, we made sure that it, we, we just did that short tour and got back with like an hour and a half to spare. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen it, that's also the time that I almost heard him. Oh yeah, the yeah. lobster roll. That's true. Uh, that, that, that's a good. <laughs> yeah, so when we did get off of, we we did the hop on, hop off, right. and uh, we did uh, we did take a walk to try to find the lobster roll. I I, I blocked it out. Uh, it was so traumatic, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and I was almost panicking ab about that time. Yeah. Because I didn't want to miss the cruise, the the ship. Yeah. So uh, let me append my earlier story. I, I said we. Got, did the tour and then got right back on the I ship. I forgot it also. That, that's not what happened. So we did have like two hours left when we got off the tour and on the tour uh, they had highlighted a lobster roll place mm -hmm. and uh, I convinced Jenny to walk the mile back to the lobster roll place. It was not. It was not a good walk. No. And uh, then and the, it was hot. And then the lobster roll place was closed. I. I could have killed him. And then we did hop. The cool thing is the lobster roll place was by one of the tour stops. And so uh, the tour allowed you to hop on and off. So we hopped back on back to the uh, end of the tour and then got back on the ship. But yeah, yeah there, there's a cool video. I'll, I'll uh, <laughs> Something might be popping up now with that video uh, or there's a link in the description below. She almost killed me in Key West. Mm -hmm. And then on our second cruise, uh, we went to Havana, Cuba. And uh, we pre-booked our excursion through the fun shop and we did the Havana top 10. Mm -hmm. And so that was that turned out to be, we were in Havana for 24 hours, but uh, we, we got to Havana about 11 uh, on 1, 11 a.m. And uh, we staged for our tour and probably got off the ship uh, and onto the crew or onto the tour bus, I think by like uh, two o'clock. And we were on that bad boy for five hours. Five. And it was it was a great tour. It was super hot, but we went, uh, when we got back to the cruise terminal, we just came back on the ship and had dinner. Right. And then uh, the next day, we were allowed to uh, go off the ship again, and we kind of ventured out on our own. But we only went as far as the immigration building to buy postcards. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's it. We went through immigration for the second, you know, for another turn, but. We didn't leave that building at all. We didn't leave that building. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, it. I, I want to chalk it up to like not having a lot of experience. Uh, this is both of our first opportunities to uh, really leave the country in this capacity. And so uh, I was perfectly fine just doing the carnival thing and not venturing out on my own just because, again, I didn't want to be late for the ship. Right. And I wasn't sure, you know, really what to do just wandering around on my own, so. 
But I know a lot of people like to do that. Our friends uh, Josh and Michelle over at Adventures Ahead, they have a really cool video about uh, one of their first times off of the cruise ship where they did kind of do their own thing mm -hmm. and they ran into some interesting characters. So uh, <laughs> uh, that video should be popping up here or if not, uh, make sure you go over to their channel Adventures Ahead and uh, see that video and uh, I will link it below uh, so that you can go to it. But uh, yeah, it was a... I don't know that their experience made me want to venture around on my own. No. But. No, and you know what, maybe in the future, um, right outside most of the ports is like a sh is shopping and restaurants. I wouldn't mind just going right there, but right. excursions like that, you're going to go on the other side of the islands and... My mother had a bad experience, so I just, I don't want to do that. Well, when we were originally uh, on the cruise to nowhere, we were supposed to go to Cozumel and uh, my brother and sister-in-law went with us, our cruise mates, Chris and Heidi. And we did have a long discussion about whether we should try to rent a Jeep and just drive around <laughs> on our own, which uh, I don't know. It sounds fun. It does sound fun, but yeah. I did hear all these like nightmare stories about trouble with insurance and mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll get more adventurous as we go along. We are going to Nassau and Freeport in February. And of course in Nassau, they have the huge uh, Atlantis resort there. And so I don't know what, we haven't booked any excursions yet, but uh, I don't know. Not yet. But yeah, uh, big ups to everybody who does their own thing. I think uh, even though we're, you know, old people, we, we're just afraid of cats. <laughs> we're just well, afraid. And the thing is too, you know, I don't really want to spend money to have to fly back to the mainland. Yeah, if so I miss that shit. This peer running thing is a real uh, concern for us. Uh, we, we do... Like I know, like if you get stuck there, it's on you to figure out how to uh, get back uh, on your own dime. And we did see when we were in, uh, when we went on that uh, cruise on the Fantasy, when we were leaving Key West, we did see a poor lady just standing on the pier by herself, uh, waiting for other people to show up. So mm -hmm. that's the worst feeling. Would you leave me if I, like say you made it back to the ship and I was still stuck in uh, Cozumel, would you leave without me? Well, I almost think that they don't let you get back off once you're on the ship. Oh, like close to the time? Yeah, I wonder if, if that's the case. It sounds like you would leave me. <laughs> I, I'm stuck in Cozumel and Jenny's got all of our stuff. Well, I mean, it's either that or both of us don't have our stuff. That's right. But I mean, so, I mean, at least I can get you a ticket home. Misery loves company. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I'd leave you. I know you would. What? I wouldn't leave you. Well, what would you guys do? Now, uh, we did get a lot of good response from the La Lita Loca cruising community, but for those people that didn't participate over there, leave a comment below. Let us know, do you like to do the ship excursions? Do you like to do your own thing? Uh, I would like to stay on the ship at some point. I think I would love to do that as well. Maybe when we hit a port, like for the second time, mm -hmm. I would like to just see what that's like. Uh, I like to take video, so I think it'd be fun to take video on an empty ship during the day. Well, and you get extra special treatment, which would be fantastic. Yeah, so that would be kind. Because you already feel, you know, I already feel like a princess when I'm there. Yeah. So leave a comment below. I would, I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, and also, if you like this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up uh, and if you have yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the <laughs> notification bell so that you get notified with the uh, new videos. Do it now. That was very direct. <laughs> you should also check us out on Twitter and Instagram at Lolita Loca oh, yeah. and Lolita Loca Cruising Community on Facebook where all the fun happens. Lots of fun but man so much information uh, going on. Uh, tons of posts today about people going out on their first cruise mm -hmm. and looking for advice and looking for tips and uh, I'm I'm taking notes actually because there's uh, so much good information coming out. There. I mean a lot of awesome information and today is also the eighth day of November Thanksgiving uh, month. Yep. What does that mean? You want me to talk about that Thanksgiving giveaway? Yes. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, so we are having a, a Thanksgiving giveaway. Uh, we're giving away a gift certificate to Honey Baked Ham uh, where you can get a, a ham or a turkey or <laughs> a pie. They have all kinds of stuff over there. $25, so I mean, you won't be able to buy the place out. But uh, for any video that's dated November, uh, between November the 1st and November 14th, mm -hmm. uh, all you have to do is like and comment on that video and you'll be entered into, uh, into the giveaway. Yeah. So uh, for every video, you can have as many uh, entries as there are videos, which Very is kind of cool. cool. And uh, we will be doing a drawing uh, 
on the morning of the 15th and then uh, announcing it and then trying to mail it out as soon as possible. That's right. So uh, yeah, get entered for that. Yeah, but until the 15th, I'll see you on the Lido. Hey, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.